hi everybody welcome back to today's video i'm going to show you how to design this real quick let's type into photoshop Control n and let's bring our documents the dimension we're going to be using is quite different we're going to set here to pixels we're going to set here to two zero 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 and then this side to two two zero zero okay and then let's call it just be day poster okay also guys really important i want you to subscribe to this channel i want you to hit the bell icon and then i want you to also like this video as well okay let's go to view let's go to new gas layout let's set our alignment i'm going to set it to 6 6 and then 0 0.3 across the board i click on okay now we're done let's begin with the flyer the first thing we're going to do is to handle the background and to do that we are going to this side and then we'll go to solid color and then we're going to use this color code f a d 899 okay and then let's click on okay then we're going to click on our text tool and i want you to type in here somewhere and type 55 okay now i want you to go to this side and then let's set it to any reddish color we can use perhaps c 50000 this reddish color will do i want you to go to this side and then let's go and look for a font that has been a while i use this called lost master we're going to use somewhere be the bold one um yeah, let's use maybe bold okay let's do it like that now the font size let's make it quite big so that people can see it i'm going to make it extremely big click on my move tool then i'll just come here somewhere and paste it somewhere here okay now i also feel like there is no space in here of course it's not really important but let's work on it let's go to the track in this side and then i want you to set it to minus 20. good it's beginning to look good also um maybe this side let's make it elongated let's set it to 110 interesting i think this should do and then let's make it italics as well so let's make it italics all right for that let's make it italics okay so i think this will do for us i'll push it in a little bit more okay that is good now other thing is you want to pick your text tool again and type anywhere around here and then guys remember everything is going to be in the description for you to download okay the whole information is going to be there let's pick happy birthday and then let's go back into photoshop now paste it there nice okay we need to also make sure it is color black so let's go and pick black or maybe anywhere closer to black we'll do now we're going to be using a different font we're going to be using mont Sirat for this so let's just pick Montserrat and then it's too big let's make it quite smaller so that we can see it so let's set it to maybe around 10 there about we do click on your move to then move it up okay now I feel like it's also <coughs> i feel like it's also really not pronounced it doesn't really stand out so let's work on it a little bit um going to this side that's the track and i'm going to set it to one two zero zero click on enter and then maybe go here and set it to maybe around medium i feel like medium is quite better Control T. The whole thing has to be in the middle. Remember, it has to be middle. Everything has to be middle aligned. I feel like this is way, way, way better than before. Um, what else can we do to it? Let's make sure it's italics, guys. Make sure it's italics. Control T to duplicate it, and then set the side to zero. That's the drag it, drag it down here. Set it to color white. Good. Now I want you to go and pick golden jubilee. Then I want you to double click there and I want you to paste it there. Awesome. Now make sure it goes in there a bit more. Alright, so also italics, guys. Now you're using Montserrat still for it, but we need to make sure it is semi bold. Okay. I want it to be a little bit bolder. And then also, I need to come here to maybe I want the tracking here and set it to, I'm uh, sorry, the lady and set it to 12. Okay. I feel like this is way better. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to put it all in a group then I am going to call it PG for that okay so we are done with this let's bring in our image I'll go to file I'll go to place embedded and then let's go and locate our image wherever it is okay so I'm going to go here I'm going to go here I'm going to go here I'm going to pick my image yep I'm going to leave it there and then also um, I'm going to pick something I can write on I like to Sometimes I like to write on ships. Sometimes I like to write on elements like this. So this one, I am going to elongate it like this. And I'm going to drag it down. Good. Now, I'm also going to um, filter. I'll go to blur. Then I'll go to motion blur. Then I'm going to use this uh, figure for it. I'm going to use 48 for the angle. And I'm going to use um, the distance. I'm going to use 
274 for it and i'm going to click on ok now i feel like it's too big perhaps let's drag it in more all right let's drag it in more yep. maybe this will do okay ctrl t as well let's drag it this way as well okay so this looks good enough yep this looks good enough we can even drag it down if we want to okay sorry well, guys i hope you're seeing what i just want to create some space down here a little bit This looks quite dynamic. You can see this uh, image is showing down here. It makes it much more interesting. Okay, then I'm going to give it some few layers, some adjustments over here. I'm going, I'm going to curves. Then I'll clip it to it, guys. Click on this side, and I'm going to drag this side all the way somewhere here. I feel like it's really standing out now. I'm also going to click there. I'm going to look for uh, maybe around exposure will do, and I'll drag it down a little bit more. Let's see. Make sure you clip it to it, guys. Clip it to it, and then move it okay so around minus two point something is better i think this is good i'm going to call it just a um, ribbon or whatever whatever it is okay put also this image in a group let's call it image all right so everything looks organized and neat now guys we need to write some few details over there i'm going to type here and then i'm going there i'm going to pick this all right so let's go let's paste it there nice now let's click on our move to let's drag it up okay we also need to make sure it is color black or maybe closer to black nice and then we need to go to paragraph and set it to left align now guys really pay attention to this okay so what we are going to do is we need to make sure the font size is definitely 10 you can see i'm using 10 often then i'm going to set the lead in here to 12 okay and then also guys make sure it's italics here like i said closer to black or even black and then um that is it okay now let's go here in fact let's zoom in so that you can see it well okay nice pick your go to the left side go and pick your ellipse tool and then just create a small exactly now one two three four let's duplicate it four times one two three four nice now i want you to select all and then come here good set one of them to color black drag it all the way down here select all of them and then select this good now let's just keep setting them to color black each one of them i should have done that before duplicating them but uh, it still doesn't spoil anything guys okay so just double click it and then set it them all to color black set them all to color black good let's put them all in a group let's call them list of attributes good so i feel like we are done with the list of attributes let's move it somewhere here good and then guys also you want to pick this tool and then go there and then just like that nice i want you to go down look at 50 click on that then double click it and click on um, whatever just click on invert okay that way we can see it now click on it and click on the list make sure the list falls in the middle of the whole thing I feel like this is way better okay this is good now the next thing you're going to do is to bring in her name Control H click on the text tool and type somewhere here then let's go and pick her name her name is Pamela or Sabute and that's the name she's going by just for this video these tutorials we also need to make sure we can see it set it to color white set it to all the way to color white i feel like it's too big so what we can do now is to maybe set it lower a little bit around 55 will do click on the move tool and then move it somewhere here now i also want to set the tracking sorry the tracking here to minus 20 and then um, the leading here to around uh, 45 let's see 45 might might be good okay Control t you want to make sure it falls in the middle right as usual everything always has to be in the middle ok 
Okay, so that is it. Good. So this looks good so far, but I don't like the way uh you can see behind it. It's difficult to see the P wall. I feel like dragging it down a little bit more. Um, yep, yeah, feel like dragging it a little bit more. But let's see. You can always work on it. Or you can even drag it this way. Nice. I feel like dragging this way is way better. Now, um, guys, also really important. Um, we need to make sure that the space between them really, really comes together. Don't don't create too big space between them. Okay, because it's one word. Nice. And then let's go. Let's pick happy birthday paste it there we need to also use a different font now when you use a different font it's really going to make it stand out we don't need to be using one font throughout okay so once you for it and then let's set the font size to something um, lower maybe around 16 we'll do drag it in the middle here Control h Control t this has to be in the middle all right in the middle now we also need to set it to um, regular there and then make sure it's italics okay and set it to color white uh, maybe drag it closer a bit more okay so i feel like this is better we are also going to click on our text to type there and then let's go and pick the date that's the date paste it there nice and then go back there we are still using months right for that let's set the font size to something smaller maybe 12 will do the tracking here let's set it to 10. so the leading set it to 10 i don't know why i keep on confusing myself okay um let's use let's use luster master as well i feel like luster master will make it stand out more and then let's drag it somewhere here i want you to go and pick your ellipse to hold shift and draw a perfect circle nice and then drag it somewhere here i feel like it's too big but let's see now go there and then come and pick the background color there control hold control and click on the thumbnail of the ellipse and then guys um uh, just have to click this side and click on this side to keep it in the middle control d to deselect it all right let's go back okay so what you're going to do is you're going to resize the circle now to fit it perfectly i think this is good I'm going to put it in a group then I'm going to call it date I'm going to put this in a group I'm going to call it name and the date you want to bring the date closer if possible you can even tilt it but now when it comes to date and time you can easily tilt it and it will still make sense so I'm going to tilt this like this um, everything looks good everything looks great um, now the wish okay the wish we are going to just create something like that and then we are going to pick the birthday wish good and we're going to paste it over there now everything is not going there so that means that we need to reduce the font size a little bit i'm going to set the font size here to eight and then click on that and then let's set uh the tracking to minus 20 uh, okay let's come here we don't want to set it to color white so let's use this color code ff 8888 good now uh, we can't really see it well so let's set this side as well to maybe around 10 okay okay i think this is better now control t what you want to do is make sure that also falls in the middle good drag it drag it up a bit more now here's the thing when you select the whole of the um the, this is birthday right and then this is the name right when you select both of them they should all be in the middle for you so you can see they are all not in the middle so push them in the middle all right, even as a group they should be in the middle for you so i feel like this is better um perhaps i would like to give this a little bit more width i'll go for medium okay so and maybe even maybe push it up a little more so that it can be seen well i think this is great i'll call it wish 
now let's bring in some few elements i think we are done with the organizing the composition the arrangement the layout everything is good now let's bring in some few elements to just spice it up i call it embellishments okay so i'll bring in my ribbon here to embellish it good now that is not all what i'm also going to do is i'm going to add in some um glows as well so i'm going to click on my brush to caps lock off pick the background color and hit somewhere here now i'll go to the blending modes and set it to screen i like a fancy how screen looks like i'll push it here and then i'll duplicate it now this one i'm going to put it somewhere here then i'll duplicate it again now this one i'm going to put it somewhere here okay i feel like this adds some few dynamic touch to it i'm going to call it glow also guys we can add some gradient map to it to just um, tie the whole color code together i'm going to click here then i'm going to double click here i'm going to give it four four two seven one five good and then we are going to this side they're going to give it f e d six eight eight click on okay and click on okay now let's set it to soft light okay so i feel like the whole thing looks good now now finally guys Control Alt Shift and then E merge everything together. Smart object. Now I like to go here. Then I like to also go to soft light again as well. But I'm going to reduce the opacity here to um, let's see. If and so guys, this is how you design this. But if you still want to throw in a few touch, there was one thing I feel like I should let you know. Um, this click on it and then drag it here. All right. And then set it to screen and then all of a sudden your work just looks epic and great now if you love this video guys hit the bell icon subscribe to this channel remember there are more videos coming up don't want you to miss it see you in the next one peace out